Well, CFD has long been employed in the academic and research and development stages for decades, uh, driving designs on the theoretical leading edge. But there's really been a large divide between simulation engineers and design engineers, and they're not able to get their information quickly enough to really drive a real-world design process. So in recent years, there's been a dramatic reshaping of this as there's a concerted effort to bring uh, those two disciplines closer together so that designers can employ using simulation entirely throughout their design process, bringing their uh, products to market much faster. Those who adopt CFD technology into their design process in the future are going to see dramatically reduced time to market for their products as well as pushing the, the boundaries on uh, finding new efficiencies or new competitive advantages for their products. The vast majority of the customers who come to us at RAND Simulation either aren't familiar with computational fluid dynamics or they don't understand how it can be brought into their design process. So a lot of the times it's educating them either on the changing culture uh, from prior research and development type of computational fluid dynamics or introducing them to the field altogether. While some organizations may have been using CFD for a very long time, since CFD has existed in some form or another for decades, they may have fallen into prior habits that were uh, nece necessary at the time due to hardware limitations or computational time. But with RAND simulation and the ANSYS best-in-class tools improving the robustness, the speed, the accuracy, and the ease of use, new avenues become available that people aren't aware of, such as uh, computer-driven optimization, uh, full multi-physics evaluation, or, or virtual prototyping. Turbo Machinery in particular is one of the earliest adopters of CFD in its infancy. And so because of that, a lot of design processes have been kind of cemented in place. For instance, using CFD was normally very much at the beginning stages when they're planning or developing the blade shapes. But then it would be handed off to a series of, of additional physics, mechanical, structural, rotor dynamics, heat transfer, etc. With new tools and with a partnership with RAND Simulation, we can help you bring all of those disciplines together so that the person who is doing the theoretical design is incorporating all relevant physics into their process in order to get to that prototype stage much faster.